Hi everybody, it's Sam Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. I'm going to just show you just a quick video on just how I store my stamps. So I did subscribe. I don't anymore, and that's not because I don't like it. Um, it's just because I've subscribed to other magazines. I still buy it now uh, when it's issues that I really like, and that's the Creative Stamping magazine. It's a fantastic magazine. Every single month you get an A4 of stickers. Um, stickers of stamps. Do you know why I said stickers? Because I've just been sorting out my stickers, so there you go. Um, you get, yeah, A4 of these stamps, and they're brilliant. And I have four of these files that have all of these stamps in them, and you can see. Now, this is, I'm coming to the end, this is the fourth one. And um, this is how I've had them stored, and it's been fine. I've actually, I've, I've liked this, there's, there's no problem with it, so this is a good way if you do have these. And basically, I, you will get a plastic sheeting on the back as well as on the front when you receive them in the magazine. And then what I use here is, this is, it's all faded now, where they've, I've been in here for ages, but this is just um, photograph um, paper. So they actually stick to that, and it doesn't damage your stamps. I've had them in here for years, um, but it's uh, a good way, you know, to obviously store them. But the problem is now they're just getting so bulky um, and kind of forgotten. Uh, they are up on one of my shelves, and what I'm using now, or I have been for a while, with my smaller stamps is these tubs, and I have everything divided and I'm just going through and sorting them all out again um, but I've been transferring them and I want them to be in these smaller A5 pockets so that I remember to see them so when I go to my I've got a category that is um, uh, scenes so when I flick through my scenes so this will go into a scene because it's it's classed as the the C theme or you know the um, yeah, see theme. And then you've got here, this is all, um, I would put this under my um, crafts themes or, you know, haberdashery. They're there with the sentiments and I see them straight away, whereas I kind of do forget about them. Um, I've got a great one there with sweets. So again, it's just, and this one, I wish I'd used more. Um, I promised myself I would and I just haven't. And it's the... Um, prince and princess and the unicorn and it's just again they're really really good so I'm transferring them across to um, A5 but because these are um, A4 but they're all spaced out randomly you can't just cut this in half because you'll cut your stamps so this is what I've done there may be better out there please let me know I'm always keen to know you know ways to do it but I wanted to keep the images so what I've done here these are my A5 pockets now the pockets I buy are from Muji which is available in the UK I'm not sure about the US um, but they're just five by five pockets and then I've just used my brother um, P-Touch la uh, labeler to label them and then you can see there they all are on there and it looks just like it's been brought like that now two it takes two A5s obviously because it's an A4 so that's what A4 is two A5s together um, and then I've just cut down that photograph paper so you'll see there it's got that shine make it out just about where's my light there you go you can just see it there so again they sit nicely on that so what I have come up with and the best way that I found to do this is literally to cut into it. So I've gone and cut around every single thing so that I keep the image on the back. So I'm going to go through this one now and I'm going to cut every single image, every stamp out. Okay, so I've now cut all of those pieces down and then all I'm going to do is just grab my snips and just go around, do it on the actual stamped side, so there's the stamp there, um, just so you don't run the risk of cutting it, and just fussy cut basically. So it is a bit tedious if it's something, if you don't like fussy cutting. You don't have to be as close as I am. The reason I'm doing it this close is so that I can fit them all perfectly on my A5 sheet, like so. Now the reason, I, obviously I wanna keep it on the plastic because I wanna see the image and the detail and how it should look. Um, and also it means then that I can pop them back when I need to. So you can still peel this off, it'd be better when it's stuck down on the other bit of plastic, but 
you can see there the stamp. I haven't actually used that one, so they, they, they're harder first time around to take off, but I can just stick that one back over now. Okay, so that's that one. I'm just going to go around and just roughly, as close as you want really, you just don't want any big bits of plastic kind of hanging off and obviously don't cut your stamp but just go around I'm going to leave those two in the middle there so just go around all the stamps and just get that plastic um, all cut away as close as you can okay so I've cut them all out now so they are literally just got their plastic um, picture basically um, then on so I said that when you receive these particular stamps you also get a sheet of plastic or acetate on the back there so I always keep those and what I've gone and done is I've got them here because I just uh, cut them in half on my trimmer so now that's A5 size and then basically I stick these back down onto this two of these A5 pieces so where was my other one where did I just put it I can't see where it was <laughs> Ah, here it is. So there's the two there. So I'll just sit that one there. And just, I don't stick them down until I've got them all on because the last thing I want to do <laughs> is obviously uh, start sticking them now and then they uh, find out I won't have room for like one or something. So I'm just starting to really get them into, you know, all the corners, fill all those gaps. Um, kind of mix the sentiments across the two until I've filled everything up really so I'm just going to carry on and get these all in to position okay so that is everything from that A4 sheet now across on those two A5 pieces so now what I'm going to do is I've got this thin quarter inch double sided tape and I'm just going to pop it on the back of each piece now this particular one is completely clear when it's on the other side, you don't see it. So if I just stick that one down there, I know they're all going to fit on there now, but if I just turn that over, you can see, obviously you can faintly see it, but it doesn't interfere with your image. So now when they're in my sleeve, I can see that perfectly. Um, and I've just obviously, you know, made it work for me and it's better for my storage situation now and for me to get more use out of them. I found that they were just getting forgotten. So I'm gonna go and get those all stuck down. Okay, so they are all stuck on there, and then if I put them against the white, so I always keep these pockets with the white card in there, ready for when then I need to use it, so it's all ready to go. I mean, this is time consuming for me at the moment, because I've got a lot, or I've had a lot to go through, but now when I get a magazine, it, it won't take no time at all. So you can see when I put it against the white there, how nice it looks. You don't lose any of the pictures. You can't see the tape, so that's really good. And um, yeah, the, I know I'm gonna use them so much more now. I mean, there's amazing sentiments on these, which is why I bought the magazine in the first place. Now I've already gone ahead and done my labels with my labeler. I've got the Brother P-Touch D210, which I've shared before. Um, and then I've just gone and cut it. So I'm gonna have creative stamping at the top just trim these down it's the sea view collection and it was May 2017 and the reason I keep all of that is for you guys <laughs> believe it or not um, for myself as well to a degree but you all ask me what I use so it's so much better um, for me to have it broke down so I can just quickly go to it and it makes it easy for me to write in my blog I don't have to go back into the computer and, and look up archives and stuff, it's just all there, so. Um, and it does look better anyway, it looks nice and organised. So it's the Sea View collection from May 2017. And I've got January 2016, so that's how many I've had, a lot. So, just working my way through. But I don't do this with all my stamps because all the rest I tend to be A5 or smaller, it's just my magazine stamps. Um, those ones in particular are this larger um, A4 size, um, which I absolutely adore, yet I forgot to use, like this one, I love him. I made a wonderful card with that sailor, 
um, which I have yet to share. So maybe now I've remembered I will because it's somewhere. Okay, there you have it. My font's a bit bigger on that one. I should have gone smaller, but I totally forgot, but it's fine. But there, so I've got those ones. I've got loads more here, but just to obviously give you an idea, this is how they're all looking. I will always keep those two together. What I might do as well is put one of two as another little um, sticky label, just so I know I've got them all together. Um, but yeah, so I hope that's helped in some way, maybe giving you some, some ideas. Both ways are good, the way I used to have it, and also this way but if there are any other ways that you guys do it I'd love to know so um, if you've enjoyed today give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more thanks for watching bye